Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avion for Shadow of the Mist. And if you remember last time, it took us forever to find the frog prince, but the frog prince wasn't even interested in the princess. He just wants to be a frog forever. So now we have to go back to the king and see if we can find another paladin that can do the job. Which I have a feeling is going to lead us to the crusading camp. There you go. So back to the king's palace we go. I do like the layout of Elena, but it is quite confusing sometimes, I think. There we go. Back in here, and then up this road, and this guy shouldn't have a problem for us anymore. Nope. And in we go. And then up this way, and I believe we just head straight. Yep, there he is. <laughs> do you come bearing news of my daughter? We've discovered the way to fix her, but we require a paladin. A paladin? This could prove troublesome. You're the king! I figured you would have plenty at your disposal. Normally, yes, but they're preparing for a crusade at the moment. I can't really pull them back. What would that look like? Your daughter's life is at risk! I'm sure you'll fix her, unless you'd rather go to the gallows. I know what I'd choose. I guess we'll have to go and get one ourselves. An entire army of paladins? I think we should steer clear of that. It'll be okay, Boyle. We only need one. You're not scared, are you? Of course not. How will we convince one to help us? Don't worry, I've got an idea. Oh dear. Let's head to the camp. I'll tell you when we get there. Alright, so back we go. Right, we are going to head down, down, down to the dreaded crusader camp that Boyle did not want to go to. Surprise, you had to go there, Boyle. Because that's how it goes. So first we gotta get out of Helena here. Oh, around this way. <laughs> There's always a lot of little things standing in the road here. Here we go. I love all the little roofs in the town here, too. They're so colorful and fun. Alright, so here is the Crusader camp. And finally, we get to go in. So how are we going to convince one of the paladins to join us? A good old kidnapping. One of the classics. Ooh, I love a good kidnapping. No, that's what those demons did to my brother. And it worked out great for them! That's the thing about kidnappings, they never fail. That makes us no different than those demons! Relax, we only need to get a paladin away from the pack to talk to him. We won't force him to do anything against his will. Fine. Who are we going to kidnap? Find the weakest looking one so we're not met with too much resistance. No need to be a hero. Alright, the weakest looking paladin. This should be fun. Oh, we can't well kidnap a paladin by going through the front entrance. Alright, we're gonna definitely take the back entrance that I found over here earlier when we were exploring. Oh, did I get the thing that was in here? I will double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did. We slitherized and we got it. kind of surprised they have a back entrance that they leave unguarded like this, but there you go. Look! Over there! Ah! A young one! One of the paladins is straight from the pack. He appears vulnerable. Should we go? Not yet. He could be powerful. Oh, I see. We're gonna watch him. Let's see what he does. Albert, help me settle an argument. What sound does a horse make? <laughs> Yay! I knew it! <laughs> yep, he's our guy! <laughs> Listen closely. Here's what we're going to do. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my goodness, we wait till night. All done! All the animals have been locked away. Time to relax! How did you get out? Come on, let's get you inside. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh 
no! He's trapped by a box! <laughs> exactly the plan! The capture paladin! <laughs> well, that was way too easy. <laughs> Oh, and apparently we've taken him to Ginger Nut Forest. I'm going to remove the bag now. Be careful, he may be violent. If he resists the brainwashing, we'll have to resort to more drastic measures, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, hi guys! Are you the ones who kidnapped me? Silence! We require your powers for our own purposes. Do as we say and no harm will come to you. You said we weren't going to force anything on him. Oh, right. Sorry. Sounds like fun! What are we doing? He seems a little too enthused, doesn't he? Yes. Do you understand you were shoved in a bag and brought into a strange place? I've always thought of her as more eclectic than strange. Come again? This is my Nan's house. I've been minding it while she's on holiday. This one is not like the others. He is just a boy. No, no, I'm a paladin, I swear. So you can do anything a normal paladin can do? Absolutely. Fine, you'll do. Although I find your acceptance disturbing. Since we're going to be working together from now on, I think we should introduce ourselves. I'm Robin. Um... I'm a paladin, but you already knew that. That's why you kidnapped me after all. A fantastic choice you will not regret, by the way. <laughs> so who's going next? <laughs> I'm not good at introductions. I'm more of a goodbye kind of person. That's funny. I'm the opposite of that. My name is Ingrid. This is my future husband, Boyle. We're on a quest to save the world and find a perfect wedding venue. <laughs> That's amazing! So what was the proposal? Ring hidden in food? Curse! Hmm, I've never heard of that before, but it sounds cool. Trust me, it was a very enchanting proposal. <laughs> it must be great going on such an adventure with somebody you love. Actually, she's insufferable. So what about you, snow hair girl? Nice to meet you. Um, I didn't catch your name. Mist. Miss? Mist, with a T. Of course, Miss Mist. You are not like other men. So I've been told. Your predisposition to anger is not immediately apparent. Well, I haven't been told that before. We should work together when we battle. Oh, Robin has learned Protect Mist. Oh, That's enough introductions. Robin, accompany us to the princess's chambers. You may not get a see inside the castle? Robin joins the party. New friends, a new adventure? This is fast turning into the best day ever! Not that this sort of thing doesn't happen all the time, you know, since I'm a paladin. I'm not your friend. Our relationship is what a minion and master at best. Of course! <laughs> oh my god, this kid is amazing! He's like a guy version of me. I love it. This is so cool. Just double checking to make sure there's nothing else hidden around in here. Ooh, so I had gone into Ginger Nut Forest yet. I'm not sure what all is in here. We might have to look around a little bit before we go back to the castle. Oh! Seems like we're pretty close to the entrance. I wonder if I should look around. Why not? Let's look around since we're here. <gasps> in fact, I'm glad we did look around because here is a cheeky. Excellent. And here is also a goddess statue. The goddess statue looks at you expectantly. Here's your hundred gold. <laughs> the goddess statue seems pleased. Ten luck! You get the feeling that everything is right in the world. The feeling soon passes. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, looks like two brothers. I'm working on a new preserve. 
but I'll need a lot of ingredients. Here, I'll write them down for you. Ooh. You can get them from the creatures in and around the woods. I'll give you a handsome reward. Cool. I've got lots of preserves here. <gasps> jam! Hey, we needed some jam to give to the statue. So we are definitely going to do that. It's only 70 gold. Let's do it. In fact, ooh. It's excellent tea and cookies, huh? Preserved lemons. Ooh, I definitely want to buy some of this stuff. Ooh, 90 for 150. It's not nearly as good, but, you know, we're gonna get some. Who knows? We might need it for something or other. Probably for some kind of spell. So you never know. Alright, we'll look in this house here. It's like a nice little village in here. Ooh, a big house. I have some amazing news! We recently held a town meeting to discuss whether the werebear is real or not. And we determined that he isn't! Rejoice! Now everybody may return to their homes and go about their business. And never mention the werebear. <laughs> oh dear, that's never a good sign. Ooh, there's a book up here. Wanna talk to this guy over here? It's true, the tales of the werebear are completely false. In fact, I made them up myself. So there's no need to worry. Oh, so maybe... Well, you never know, though. You see, it could be one of those plot twists where he made it up, but then there actually ended up being a werebear, so you never know. Where are the night bugs during the day and other Helena mysteries? Oh, cool. That's a fun one. It's such a small house. It seems so big. Let's see. Oh, there's lots of little houses in here. I wonder if we can go in this one. Yeah! <gasps> Cheeky! Yeah! Check these boxes just to make sure. Nope, what's in here? Just the cheeky. Just cheeky things. <laughs> Let's see, what's in here? Oh, there's a lady sweeping in here. Nothing interesting ever happens here. We just go about our business and nothing bad happens to us. I'm in a werebear. Oh, look at the cute little bunk bed. Psst. The werebear is real. I've seen it. But mom told me I'm not allowed to tell anyone. Ooh, see? I'm thinking this is exactly the case of what's happened here. There is a werebear. And they didn't want to cause a panic, so they had everyone say that there isn't one. Ooh, who are you? I'm sorry, the forest is too dangerous at the moment. Oh, because of the werebear? Yep. Fortnite. That's a cool name. Let's see. More gooses. Let's go in here. Hello, sir. Stanley, somebody's been stealing my sweets. Oh well, what am I gonna do about it? Aw, poor guy. Werebears, myth or conspiracy? Don't read anymore? Nope. Alrighty. All right, so that seems to be all this over here, and we can't go further into the forest while the werebear is active. I'm guessing, so we'll go back this way. Treasure Nut Forest is very nice. And up there was Nan's house. Let's see if there's anything down this way. Oh, a treasure chest. My exploration pays off because I love treasure chests. Oh, we found some preserved lemons. Well, they'll come in handy for something. I think it's always better to buy things when you can than to need it later and be like, oh, I should have bought it back then. So let us go into town and we will take Robin to see the princess and we'll see if he can't wake her up. Hopefully he can. I like this kid though. He's a great addition to our party. Completely naive and trusting and completely positive. He is gonna drive everyone completely bonkers. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> the party dynamics in here are so great. It's just very well done. Alrighty. So let's go see the princess. See if Robin has any luck. I mean, he's so pure of heart, I would think he would cure her just from that alone. Let's see. He's like practically brimming with magical power. Alright, and she was over here. Alrighty. Okay, Robin, as you can see, the princess has been cursed. 
kiss from a paladin will wake her up, so have at it. Robin's moment. Um, are we sure that's a good idea? I mean, uh, have you considered any alternatives? Yes, we already tried them. What's the problem? I mean, well, um, it's too forward, don't you think? I'm sure she'll forgive you, given the circumstances. Okay, I guess. Here goes. <laughs> Is she awake? Nope. Try again. Still not working. Okay, one more try. That's enough. It's clearly not working. It makes no sense. We brought a paladin. Robin. Eh? You are a paladin, right? Sort of. I may not be a paladin, but I act like one. I'm courteous. I'm punctual. So you lied to me after I spent all that time and energy kidnapping you. No, I'm so sorry. It wasn't a waste, I promise. I just... I thought we'd start with doing a few deliveries or something. How was I supposed to know we'd start with this? You failed as a paladin. Worse, you failed as a minion. Now we have to go and kidnap another one. Hold it! Boyle, I think I might have an idea. Robin, allow us to talk in private for a moment. Okay, just promise you won't go anywhere without me. Oh, poor kid. He's not a paladin, but all may not yet be lost. He only has to think he's a paladin for this to work. So all we have to do is convince him. It seems a poor idea to convince him that he is something he's not. Somebody convinced you that you weren't annoying. Besides, it helps us right now, and that's the most important thing. All we have to do is make a fake trial for him. We'll take him into the cave in Gingernut Forest, then will conjure a fake spirit. When he defeats it, he'll think he's a paladin. Sounds good to me, but so is everything else up until this point. The main requirement is that the subject is open to suggestion. In that regard, we've hit the jackpot! I think you're forgetting one thing. And what is that? You're a lousy witch. You can't conjure a spirit. Excuse me? My knowledge and curses are the only thing that have gotten us this far! I was just doing to suggest we use a summoning scroll. I've seen a few scary types around this town. This would be the best place to get one. Send Robin back in. Good news, Robin. We're going to give you the chance to become a real paladin. But you'll need to pass a very difficult trial first. Think you're up to it? You bet. Great, then let us head to the cleansing caves. Robin's ascension. <laughs> Oh god, this is wonderful. This is too good. This poor kid, he has no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, in fact, while we're here, before anything else happens, we need to get this kid equipped now that he's officially in our party. So we're definitely going to do that. So we'll just head down towards town here and go to the blacksmith. Because I definitely already know what things he needs. I do really enjoy the music here in Helena. It's very nice. A little bit upbeat and a little bit calming. Alrighty. I think it's over because the marketplace is this way. And I believe it's up this one. But you have to go around and up through it. And it's got some stairs on it. Yeah, this way. Oh yeah, it's on the other side. Oh shoot, how do I get to the other side? Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, hold on. I'll go this way. I only have 225 gold though, so this may not end well. Here we go. We'll see if we can at least get him a sword or something. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, he needs that. Oh no! We need like 900 gold. Well, let's see. Let me see if I can't sell anything. We could sell the grape drink. Hmm. No, I really don't 
want to sell anything. And anything we have is not going to make that much money. Alright, so here's the deal. We definitely need to get him some equipment. Actually, let's look and see what he's got so far. Oh, look at his cool background. Oh, look at him. He's totally ready to go in his really crappy armor. Let's see if we can give him something good. An unwanted sword. Inherited armor. Oh, you poor thing. He doesn't even have a shield. Or a helmet. Okay, well, we're at least going to give him a bandana, I think. Vigor of a panther, the essence of a panther. So we'll give him more defense. Oh! Oh yeah, we'll give him the frog boots too. Why not? Now I got plenty of the powder, so that'll at least give him something. I guess... Yeah, that's all it does. Why not? Let's use it. And no shield. Aw, oh, poor guy. Jeez, you don't have anything. Alright, well... Given that Robin doesn't have anything, I'm gonna go spend some time leveling up in the swamp and we're gonna get a bunch of money there because that should be a good place to grind. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back when we have enough money to buy him some stuff. So see you guys in a bit. Hey everybody, it's me. I'm back and I discovered there's a whole new section of Ginger Nut Forest that we didn't even look at yet that has tons of new enemies. So I wanted to come back here so you could experience it all with me. So I came up here and I discovered all this crazy stuff. Look at those snails. They gotta be doing good stuff for us. So let's see what we all have here. Me a lumberjohn. Me and a lumberjack is hard but rewarding work. Oh, cool. So let's fight these snails and hopefully I won't regret it. <laughs> We're definitely gonna empower Frogger. Oh, this is sweet. Now we got five in our party if you count Frabber, which I totally count Frabber. So we are going to do four legs and swipe. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do two legs. There we go. Missiles, why not? And since since poor Robin can't do anything yet, I gave him the frog boots, so he's gonna do a bunch of frog stuff. So we'll see how that goes. So it's kinda like having two minions in battle right now. At least until we can get him leveled up. Oh yeah, he didn't like do anything. Poor guy. I bet he's a lower level than us, too. I should check that out. We will check that out after the battle. Let's see. A rocket snail or a regular snail. We'll focus on the regular snail for right now. And I will have Miss Whip switch back and do Soothe on Robin. And let's see. We'll do Zit first. And we'll try to do Splash on the snail. It may just be that it's not doing a lot of damage on them because they're uh, not weak against water, so we shall see. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the case. But it seems like the splash is doing more, so we'll just have him do splash right now. Let's see, blue flames on the snail. Let's see if that does any better. And we'll have her soothe Robin. And we will mud ball the snail. And we will splash the snail. This is nice! This is nice having a really big party. There we go, finally got rid of one snail. Flames seem to do decent damage, so that's good to know. But it's pretty much the same as everything else. Let's see how the mud ball does. Oh, the mud ball is a great spell. Okay, we're definitely gonna soothe the whale. And we will mud ball the snail again and we will splash him. There we go. Fury claw. There we go. Darkness. And he's finally down. Excellent. Oh, I like Robin's happiness animation. He's super cute. It's a really fun little character. Let's see. Something here. Hmm, seems like maybe there should be something here. But there is not. Let's see. Ooh, so how do I get up there to that lovely, lovely chest? Let's see. Looks like I have to go around this way. Ah oh, yes, to the staircase over here. And actually before we do that, let's check out Robin and see what he has to offer in his statistics for us. Let's see. Yeah, he's only level 13, so we gotta level him up. He's like eight levels below everybody else. 
That's crazy town, so we will definitely work on leveling him up. So we'll keep him as a frog for now. So that seems to be a good thing for him. Let's see, we will suit the grit. And we will mud ball. And we will splash. Have everybody focus as much as they can on one snail at a time here. Except for Crabber, because he just throws what he wants. Which is really funny because they're minions, but Boyle cannot tell them what to do. That's really funny. If you ask me. <laughs> Let's see, we're definitely gonna soothe Mist. Mud Ball again, and we'll splash again. Man, I'm really glad I have those frog boots. Corpse right here. There we go. I think there should have been one more. No, I guess that's it. Let's see, there's a little pathway this way. Where's this going? Ooh, it branches out. Oh man, this place is a maze. <gasps> a barrel. What's in the barrel? Nothing is in the barrel. Ooh, there's a cave down there. Ooh, there's so much stuff to explore in here. I think we're definitely going to stay in here the rest of the episode and look around because we definitely need to get Robin up to speed with everybody else before we go any further in the game. So we will do that. Let's see, we will mud ball and we will splash. Once we get him some really good armor and some really good weapons, I bet he'll turn out to be a pretty good character. But right now we kind of got to protect him because he's pretty weak compared to everybody else in the party. Which is ironic because he wants to protect Miss, which is super cute. Let's see. Mist. Yeah. Ooh, and we have run out of items, so or MP, so we will cubby bomb on Ingrid. Keep splashing. Almost got this guy. There we go. Come on. There we are. Somebody learned how to fight! <laughs> oh, Robin, you're super cute. You're way too super cute. Let's see what you have to say. No matter. Oh, it's Lumber Jake. No matter how much I cut, my axe hungers for more. Yep. That is the way of things. Okay, definitely cannot find the corpse. Must be around here somewhere. Or maybe not. Might be one of those things I'll never find it. Boo hoo! Let's see. Ooh, there's a wasp looking critter. I cannot fight it from up here. And I can't go around that flower. So, let's see. There's gotta be a way down here. Well, it must be this way. Ah, yes, right there. 
So if I go this way, and then... Oh, I see gold! Ooh, I wonder how I can get the gold. Hmm. Well, maybe this way? <laughs> yeah, this way! Here we go. Ooh, little lion statues. I really want to explore that cave, too. Oh, you know what? I bet that's where the cave that we need to go is, so... We'll avoid that for right now. So that will continue the plot, and we definitely need to level him up before then. And we're at 499 gold, so this is good. We should be able to hit 900 before we get out of here. Alright, we're gonna have to... Danger bait! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. We got four legs and swipe. We're gonna mud ball. We'll start with the danger bee here. Then we will splash the danger bee. Ooh, that did really good. Whoa, that danger bee was not very dangerous at all. <laughs> nice. Oh no, they're really picking on Robin over there. Fun. Maybe we'll soothe him. There we go. There we are. Making some leeway in here. Oh man. A lot of hits on poor Robin. Okay, let's see. We'll soothe Robin. And we'll just have everybody else wail on this guy. There we go. Nice. Nicely done. Everybody's so happy! Oh, Robin's level 14. Nice. Alright, let's look at this chest. Spiky fruit! Totally worth it. Excellent healing item. 68 gold. Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, let's see. Anything else up here? <gasps> There's a cheeky over there! Ooh, how do I get to the cheeky? Hmm, let me see. Well, I don't believe you go up further that way, because I believe that hit a dead end. Go back this way. And we'll keep on this path here. And we'll go up this way. Nope, there's nothing there. Let me check to make sure we can't go up this way. Nope. It's dead end two. Let's go this way. Nope. So nothing further over here. Oh, but there is a pathway going that way. Oh, that must be further down. Okay. Well, you know what? We're here by the cave, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do the cave right now. Because we can. Because it's convenient. <laughs> so we shall go this way. Ooh, more snails. Let's see here. Start to triumph on the snails, see if we can brush them off. Robin, Mud Ball, and Splash. Excellent. Well, so far, our new party is turning out really good. Okay, one more hit should finish off the snail. There we go. They take about 600 HP, it looks like. corpse again. That always seems to happen. <laughs> oh well. 
Nothing can be done. All right. That's an ominous looking rock. Oh, right. I believe she said we had to go get a spell or something. This is definitely the cave we need to go to. Did it list cave name? No, it did not. Forgot they respawn. I walked right into them. There we go. That's alright. Oh, yeah, we'll heal Robin. He's a little bit weaker than everybody else for the moment. There we go. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look up and see what we had to do for Robin there. I think we had to go make some kind of. Oh, yeah, we had to go get a summoning scroll. And yeah, we have to do it in the. Uh, bad part of town, they said. I think there was a guy there who was selling something, but we have to wait till night because that one knight is there watching us like a hawk. Okay. Come on, we gotta finish this guy off. There we go. Excellent. Now I was able to kill them and get some gold. Let's see, 726. Ooh, we are so close. I'm gonna level up a little bit more and see if we can't get 900 so we can equip him. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, we can totally fight these guys. Let's see. Bubble does nothing. Whoops, sorry, boil. There we go. That's one down. Okay, let's focus on the rockets now. That last one is missing. Okay. Let's get out of here. I believe the exit's this way. Yes. Back to Helena. Oh, I was so close to gain 900 too. Okay, first we're gonna stay in the inn. Lost 50 gold for that, but that's okay because now everyone's back to normal again. And I'm gonna go actually visit the statue while we're over here, too, which I believe she was up this way. Yeah, she's up there. through the cave, so I think we have to go through this archway and then go right. Okay, 
Yes, through here. Oh, so that was a robin they were talking about when I got the accidental cutscene over there. Alright, you wanted some jam. The god statue is apprehensive about imparting good luck upon one who would readily withhold gingerbread. Gingerbread now? What does the goddess statue need that for? Come to think of it, how are we able to understand what she wants just by looking at her? We've fallen victim to the power of hypnotic suggestions. What's that? Magic. The goddess gazes lifelessly at no particular thing as if to say, Dare thee sculpt from thy obligation to the goddess? Nice try, Buster. <gasps> oh, it's a fairy! Oh, fucking fairies. Am I right, guys? Come on, guys! I'm just trying to make a dishonest living! Is there anything wrong with that? Not inherently, but you just crossed the wrong guy. Wait! I can see you're quite powerful! What if I bless you? I already got blessed by a nymph and it didn't turn out well for me. I'm not some nasty Avion nymph! My blessings are good! The goddess statue's continued science conveys an intense desire for Boyle to accept the proposal. The goddess statue has a good point. Fine, go ahead and bless me. Oh, one evasion! That's it? Very good. You may go about your business as usual. <laughs> the goddess statue is not handing out any more blessings. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious! I'm glad we went back to do that. That's ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we get that weird cutscene again. Right, let's unlock this! Robin, shouldn't we use that key in Ginger Duck Cave? Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so now we finally got that cutscene. That was really weird. Okay. Oh, oh yes, we need to go down south now, and then to the right to the CD marketplace, which is down this way. I believe through. Oh no, that doesn't go there. This goes there. And then you have to go this way, and I believe it's up over. Oh no, it's not. Ah, I got lost again. It's so easy to get lost in Helena. Okay, hold on. Let me get my bearings again. There's a castle portion that you have to go to, and it's around here somewhere. And that's where everybody's hanging out at. Maybe it's further up through here. Oh, see, here's that weird exit I was looking for. Okay, I gotta remember it's by the flowers with the columns. Okay. Okay, so... Clearly I need to go more to the west here. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Now I found it. What's this place called? Crete Street? Yeah, that's right. Crete Street. There we go. Alright, you're the guy with what we need. Yes, we need it. Oh, 450. Ah, uh, sorry, Robin. We need it. <laughs> Excuse me! Never mind. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Maybe someday if I come back after dark I can buy some of these things, but it may be that I just can't buy anything else. So that was all I need to get over here. So now we have everything. So before we go, I will get at least one thing for Ramen. He's got to have at least a decent sword, so the... Whatever the thing I conjure doesn't instantly kill him, because I have a feeling he'll have to battle it himself. So we definitely want to beef him up for that, because if we bring him in there and we kill him, I will feel incredibly guilty. <laughs> oh, we only have 286! Oh, same problem as before. Oh, we need both of these things. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me see if I have other things I can sell. 
there's gotta be some weapons or armor upgrade I didn't sell yet. Let's see. That's it. Yeah, the only things that would give me even remotely that much are way too precious for me to sell. I'd be a fool to do that, so. We're just gonna have to deal with what we got here, so sorry, Robin. You hope you're good. <laughs> hope you don't die. <laughs> this thing Ingrid got won't kill him. Okay. But we are going to do that in the next video. So I will see you guys next time on more Let's Play Avion 4 Shadow of the Mist. Look forward to it. This is Bubbly Oasis signing off and Robin is so cute. I hope we really don't kill him. Ah oh, yes, 100% MP. That's another one I'm going to save for the end of the game. Because that thing Oh god, it's a bear! It's a bear! <laughs> Enter a bear from stage left. Oh my god.